Hey everyone, my name is Alshaw94, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Who Wants To Be A Millionaire. Now last time we played this game, I introduced a fourth lifeline in the form of Google Assistant who was acting as our Ask The Host. Today we're going to go back to basics, back down to three straight lifelines, we're going to see how far we can get. So without further ado, let's get into question number one. So here we go, the stage is set, here is question number one. Let's get these first five questions dealt with pretty quickly. What kind of party is held by a bride-to-be and her friends? That is, of course, a hen night. Well done, it's nice not dough night, mix and night, it's so night, that's not a thing. Uh, so nice and easy. Here's question two, it's worth 200 pounds. Okay, what was the name of Johnny Travolta's character in the film Grease? Danny, Doody, Sonny, Marty. It's, so of course, Danny. It's good for £200. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Next question, please. Right, so far so good. Take a look at this for 300 quid. The island of Madeira is part of which country? Poland, Portugal, Panama, Paraguay. Oh, man. I think it might be Portugal. All right, take your time. you still got all three lines. Let's go Portugal. Do you think it's B? Are you happy with that answer? You've got £300. Lovely. That, that was a little bit of a guess, I'll be honest, but um, I can't even say, like, I can't like, justify right, you're 12 questions away from a minute. my uh, oh, answer. £500. Take your time, have a look at it. Which Prime Minister did Tony Blair succeed? That is John Major. That's the right answer for £500. Easy, lovely, jubbly. Hopefully, next question, should be able to get through that. Don't forget, you've lifelines. still got all three lifelines. Use them if you need to, that's what they're there for. Now, the next question guarantees you a thousand pounds if you give me a correct answer. Have a look at this. Here we go. What is a stormy petrel? Small seabird, thundercloud, storm at sea, strong wind. Petrel. Never heard of that. I could guess small seabird. Just sea be aware, bird. this is the last point at which you could go away with petrol. Absolute sounds wind. like a. Yeah, let's go small seabird. If this answer is correct, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least £1,000. Well done, it is the right yeah. answer. Yeah, all right then. £1,000, a couple of little guesses there, but that is okay, because we now have three lifelines still intact. Um, I think maybe what I'll do down the line is if I do reinstate the fourth lifeline, I'll try and see if I can edit um, the fourth lifeline icon into that so it kind of like looks a bit so seamless. So congratulations, you're now guaranteed a thousand pounds no matter what happens. Okay, going on. Question six is for two thousand pounds. So here we go, the lighting has already began to fade and uh, here we go. Which fruit, oh that's apples. Which fruit is used to make Eve's pudding? Apples, plums, so you apricots, think strawberries. A. That is of course apples. Congratulations, it's the right answer. I You've got two thousand pounds. I think the more that we play this game, the easier it's gonna get, I think. Because we'll be starting to repeat the questions, and that's what happens with these older games that have like a smaller amount of You are now just game. nine questions There's away less questions from to one be had. million pounds and starting to look at some of the uh, bigger jumps. But remember the drops are pretty steep as well. Take a look at this for four thousand pounds. Of course, with the newer it wants to be a millionaire game. Uh, you can buy packs, um, like question packs, to increase the amount of questions that you have to answer. Who became British Prime Minister in 1964? Harold Macmillan, James Callaghan, Edward Heath, Harold Wilson. I don't have a Scooby Doo. The fact that there's two Harolds on there indicates right, to me that it time. might you still be a got Harold. All three lifelines. You've still got 50/50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. I'm going to ask the audience on this one. I don't have a clue. There's no point in me. I, okay, right. Using I'd maybe lifeline. guess Harold ask the Wilson. Audience. All vote now. Well, now D gets the audience's vote Man. as the most likely, but it's your choice. So it's up to you entirely. What do you think? So again, logic perfect. Guess was amazing. Let's go D, and hopefully we get the next uh, amount of money up. Are it is quite confident? close between the two Harolds, though. Congratulations, you just won yeah. £4,000. 
Okay, now, strategically speaking, 50-50 should be the next one that I use, because phone a friend tends to be a bit more useful compared to 50-50, I think, in most cases. Okay, going on. Question 8 coming up for £8,000. Take your time on this. You don't have to play. Here it comes. Come on. In which field of art was Enrico Caruso famous? Sculpture, opera, conducting, ballet. Again, no clue. Uh, let's use 50-50 and hopefully right, let's try and help by I'll make a guess choice based on that. Computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leaving just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. If C is there, I'm going to go for it. Okay. Well, that's left you with A or B to choose from. I will guess opera. Are you confident? No. Oh, I'd love to say you just won £8,000. And I can! You have Yeah! Okay! Pounds. So we have a phone of friend to last us for like the next seven questions. We're not going to get up to the 32,000, I don't think, in this game. Could be wrong. Okay, keep going if you want to. Here's question nine. You're doing really well. If you play and get it wrong, you'll drop £7,000. If you play and get it right, you'll double your money to £16,000. Come on, be kind to me. Which country represents a letter in the phonetic alphabet? Oh, that's India. So that's you think it, yeah. it's A? You've just won £16,000! Do you know what? Phone a friend could be kind to us. We could still get to 32000 What's going to be a kicker is that we do a whole episode where we have three lifelines, and I could have got a fourth to get us higher up the you list. You can still phone a friend the if list. you want to. So you've now got £16,000. Now, this next question is worth £32,000. If you get it right, you're guaranteed to leave with at least that amount of money. But if you get it wrong, you drop 15 of the £16,000 you've got at this moment. You don't have to play this question. But it's worth £32,000 guaranteed. Take your time. Here it comes. You might as well play it. I mean, uh, I mean, if I was in like actual real life playing this game, I probably would be like, do you know what? Call it quits there. Graphite is a form of which element? Lead, sodium, carbon, sulfur. The beauty about this game so you is that right it gives you these C. questions you that you've sure? had before. Oh, well done. You just won thirty-two. Pounds. So with one lifeline left, and yes, we are getting there slowly. We could get 64. We have not actually got the 64,000 pound question correct yet. Pounds guaranteed. It's in the bag. No one can take that away from you at this point. Now, the next question is worth £64,000. You might as well play this. You can't lose. Take your time. It's becoming very big money. Here it comes. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. In which decade was the musical A Chorus Line first performed? 50s, 60s, 80s, 70s. I think I might have had this question before. I'm gonna guess the nine. I think it's the 1970s. You're saying D. Okay. You happy to go orange? Yep. You had thirty-two thousand pounds in your hand. Not anymore. You've now got sixty-four thousand pounds. Come on. What we've learned essentially is that if I was to play this game in real life. I would have to have like played the game like fifteen times. Oh, but take a that look at is that. a, nice, isn't it? a check big chunk of money for sixty-four thousand pounds. But we don't want to give you that. We could well give you a check. The next check is worth one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. Now you are at this moment just four questions away from one million pounds. Have a look at the next question. You don't have to play it. 
but it's worth 125,000 pounds if you can give me the right answer. I didn't think we'd get this far. Amazingly, we have. With one lifeline left. In 1981, who rode Sugar to victory in the derby? I'm going to have... Oh, Willie Carson's there. Let's phone a friend. Okay, you want to phone a friend. Now, let's call them, but remember, you don't have to go along with what they say. I guess it would be C, but that's only because I've only heard of Willie Carson. I haven't heard of any others. Hello? Hi, Lisa. It's Chris Tarrant from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Lisa! Hi, Chris. £125,000 is the little amount riding on the answer you're about to give your friend. No pressure. Good luck. No problem, Chris. Now, are you ready for this? Here's the question and four possible answers, one of which is the right answer. Oh, I'm really sorry after you go so far, but horse racing isn't, isn't my thing. I'm going to have to guess and say Steve Cawthon, because I think he was around at about the right time. Oh, that's really not much help, is it? Lisa, thanks for your help. Thank you very much. Well, there you go. Lisa thought it was B, but what do you think? So, we could walk away, but if we do that, we're never going to know the right answer. I kind of want to go for Willie Carson, but... Do you know what? Let's go with Lisa. Let's go B. Are you happy with Probably that? Probably wrong. I'm going to keep myself if it's Willie Carson, but... Well, you had a check for £64,000. You didn't have to play this question. You did. You've just lost £32,000. I'm so sorry. That's the wrong answer. The answer is A. Okay. Wouldn't have got that. Would not have got that at all. That's okay. We can still play on from the bottom, from the top. And here okay. we go. Second game. We did pretty good that time round. This should that's a good indication of what's to come, I think. Good luck. Now I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth one hundred pounds. Here we go. Game two then. Let's try and see if we can get better than we did before in that in that last game. Which of these provided entertainment in the Middle Ages? Jester, Bruce, Forsyth, <laughs> Steps, amazing, Crossroads, it's so a Jester, it's hasn't it? A. It's good, you've got I mean, 100 pounds. I know Brucey was quite old uh, and was well versed in the entertainment game, pounds. but which of these dog breeds shares its name with a clip for papers? Pekingese Alsatian, oh it's a bulldog. You're going for Bulldog clip, D. like a like an industrial size clip. It's good for two hundred pounds. Yep, <clears throat> there we go. Lovely jubbly. Okay. Now here's question number three for three hundred pounds. What is the name of Superman's girlfriend? Lois Avenue, Lois Grove, Lois Lane, Lois Street. Could be Lois Lane. Hasn't well done. It? You've got three hundred pounds. There we go. Bridge quid. Lovely. <clears throat> I've got to start trusting my gut a bit more. Now, you've got I 300 think. quid, but you could still go away with nothing. I'm sure you won't, and I hope you don't. But have a look at this next one. It's worth 500 pounds. A white feather is a symbol of which character trait? Cowardice, wisdom, All right, take your honesty, time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50, 50 Phone a friend and ask the audience. I know a white flag is cowardice. Does that mean a white feather as well, then? I've never heard that before. I'm going to have to ask the, I'm gonna have to ask the audience on a £500 okay, pound question right. again. Up your lifeline. Ask the audience. All vote now. Well, now, they seem very okay. confident it's A. So it's up to you entirely. What do you think? Well... I know a white flag was for cowardice, like, or for, you know, surrender, but, Are okay. Are you happy with your answer? Um, kind of makes sense, but... That's the right answer for £500. Okay, well... Cool. 
Learn something new every day, I guess. You've still got two lifelines, 50-50 and phone a friend. Okay, have a look. Uh, you're just one question away from your first milestone. It's for a guaranteed £1,000. Here it comes. A person with large, gentle, dark eyes is said to be what? Vixenide, doe doe-eyed, u-eyed, mare-eyed. I think you it's doe-eyed. You think doe -eyed. it's B. Are you happy with that answer? If this answer is correct, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least £1,000. Well done. It is yes. the right answer. Okay. So the after audience has marred the run now slightly, but as we saw from the last game, one lifeline, it can do us well, or at least get us far without having to use it. Questions could be nice. That's a thousand pounds in the bag guaranteed, but let's try and double that with the next question. You might as well play this. You've got nothing to lose. You're guaranteed 1,000. This one is for 2,000 pounds. Cool. Okay, come on. We got this in the bag. Which hat takes its name from a poem by Robert Burns? Busby, Tamashanta, Deerstalker, Panama. I haven't a clue. So. Take your time and remember you've still got two. I'll guess Busby. So you're saying it's A. Are you confident? Nope, not at all. You had a thousand pounds guaranteed. You've still got a thousand pounds. It's the wrong answer. Okay. The answer is B. Tam O'Shanta. Would not have got that in a million years. We're going to go one more time. One more game. And let's hope that we can actually get much. a fair distance of the way there without having to use any lifelines at all. The dream run will get to about the halfway point and still have all three lifelines intact. Obviously, that might not actually happen, but we'll see. Right, here we go. You're 15 questions away from £1 million. And if you're ready to play, have a look at this for £100. Come on, let's just get a decent way there, Alex. You can do this. Just believe in yourself a little bit more. It'll be fine. Which of these is the, na is the name of a golf tournament, American Shut, French Ajar, British Open? It's going to be the British Open, hasn't it? Of course it is. You've got yeah. 100 points. Some of these are like, you kind of like just have to make sense of them, but other questions... Here's question I never two. It's worth I mean, 200 that, pounds. Getting stomped. Uh, uh, which letter immediately precedes J at I, isn't it? It's right. You've got 200 pounds. Lovely. Right, so far so good. Take a look at this for 300 quid. What are Trappists and Benedictines? Breeds of sheep, types of whiskey, orders of monks, pop groups. So you think the right orders of monks all day, sin. surely. Are you sure? You're absolutely right for 300 pounds. Ace. Right, you're 12 questions away from a million. Now this one is worth 500 pounds. Take your time, have a look at it. Clean and jerk is a style of which sport? That's a phrase that has not aged all overly right, take well. Take your time. You still got all Croquet. three lifelines. You still got 50-50, Phone a friend and ask the audience. Archery, shot putting, weightlifting. I think it's weightlifting. Are you sure you want to play this? You're right. You've got five hundred pounds. Technical terms, of course, but not that I do much in the way of weightlifting, but... You've still got all three lifelines left. 50-50, phone a friend, and ask the audience. Now, the next question guarantees you a £1,000 if you give me a correct answer. Have a look at this. What kind of food is muscovado? Sugar, flour, wheat, or salt? That is sugar. So you're saying it's A. Are you confident? Yes. If this answer is correct... You're guaranteed to leave here with at least £1,000. Well done, it is the right yes. answer. I've used muscovado, I'm pretty sure I've used muscovado to make cookies and that kind of stuff when I've been baking. Um, so that was pretty good. Uh, so we are on track to get to the halfway point without using a single lifeline. Of course that's going to change with all these questions. It's never going to be that easy, is it? Oh, well done. You've got a thousand pounds. Now, that's guaranteed. Whatever happens now, you'll walk away with at least one thousand pounds. 
Bad, have a look at this next question. You might as well play it. It's worth £2,000. Come on, £2,000 question. Let's do this. Which girl provided the title of The Bachelor's 1964 chart topper? Diane, Mary, Carol, Rose. Uh, I haven't even heard of Bachelors before. Diane, Mary, Carol. All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50 50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. Don't know. Uh, I'm going to phone a friend. Okay, you want to phone a friend. Now let's call them, but remember, you don't have to go along with what they say. To guess, I'd say it was Rose or Diane. One of those two, I think. But who knows? Hello? Hi, Ross. This is Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hi, Chris. Take your time. £2,000 is riding on the answer you're about to give your friend. OK, Chris. OK, Ross, no pressure. So here comes the question and four possible answers. Well, a bit before my time, I'm afraid. I'd guess it's Diane. I'm sure I've heard a song called Diane before, but... No, go, yeah, go with that. Been let down twice in Ross, this episode. Ross, Thanks for helping out. You can go along with Ross's suggestion. Yeah, let's confident? go for it. You've just won two thousand pounds. Hey, good job, Ross. I mean, that what I mean. In this episode, we've called up people like twice, and on both occasions, they've not been sure. One of them's been right. One of them's been wrong. You're doing brilliantly. You got two thousand pounds, but take a look at this next question for four thousand. Come on, just give me a nice question. I'm, I deserve it. Mostly, maybe. Who is married to the actor Michael Williams? Sinead Kozak, Diana Rigg, Judy Dench, Maggie Smith. I don't have a Scooby Doo. Okay, right, using up your lifeline. No Ask idea. The audience, all vote now. Well, they're sure the answer is B, but they're a very strange bunch. Well, that's an overwhelming indication from the audience, but what does it indicate? You don't have to go along with their answer. It's entirely up to you. Oh, boy. Again, I've, but I guess it would be before my time slightly. Diana Rigg, there you Are go. Are you absolutely sure? Yes. You had £2,000. I'm afraid you now haven't. You've just given me the wrong answer. You've lost £1,000. C is the right answer. Yo. What? So, you're leaving us today with a cheque for £1,000. You're not leaving empty-handed. Uh, well done. Please come back soon to try for hopefully lots more next time around on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The audience got that wrong the answer was so high and yet they got it wrong and i'm gonna have to end the episode I'm, I, I, I can't continue on like that i'm gonna have, to have a complete refresh of the entire audience so i'm gonna end, end, end the episode right about here so thanks to those who have watched this if you like what you saw then hit that like button down below don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and i'll see you next time <laughs>